I'm your home or you're with your relatives wherever those people are and it's not a great time so I want to remind you of some things one it's gonna end soon you will be away from those people who have whatever ideas about you they have and back in your regular life where people actually know you and like you and enjoy working with you and spending time with you and don't ask you a lot of ridiculous questions or make weird comments about your hairstyle. Two, they're stuck and you're moving. They're mired to a you of the past or to their values of the past and you're a learning, growing person who is in the process of constantly figuring out better ways to deal with them and also better ways to be you. And that's great. Three, well, you're just awesome. I mean, it's possible that I don't even know you, but here's my guess. My guess is that if you found your way to this pep talk, either you're queer or trans, or two-spirit, or bi, or gay, or lesbian, or someone close to you who loves you and knows that you're going where they're going to give you a hard time is, and cared about you enough to make sure that you got this message. In general, my feeling is, if you're hanging around with queers and trans people, you're probably pretty okay. And I'm glad you're in the world. I'm glad... You're here with us. So take a deep breath. Maybe one more. You're going to have to go back out there, get up tomorrow, and do it again for a few more days. Just remember you can do it. I have faith in you. And then it'll be over. And can keep going. Alright, there's your pep talk. I really hope it helped.